What's going on guys and girls, my name is Rhino Rock. So in today's video, this is going to be a bit random, but I thought I'd get this video out of my Well, this is my video idea, so I thought that I might just get out of, I thought I might just get it out of my chest. So today's video is going to be me discussing why I want a third prototype game, and not because um some people are saying they want it, but the fact that prototype is so fun and I think uh, it deserves a third game if not maybe a potential remaster of its predecessors or a potential remake you know just think uh, just think resident evil 2 that got a uh, full-fledged remake and it could be like that with prototype as well but uh, since this is random and the fact that this video has to be short i'll keep it short and simple as best i can so today i'm going to be explaining my four distinct different reasons on why i want a third prototype game and uh, this is going to be short so um, I'll break down the reasons. Uh, reason one, uh, the gameplay. The gameplay of Prototype is really, really, really fun. And part of what everything uh, makes the game so, um, you know, memorable and whatnot. Uh, the most memorable aspect about Prototype is the gameplay, which is what I said before. The, the gameplay in Prototype is so memorable, and that's why everyone uh, found it quite so like fond like they they found they they fondly remember a uh, prototype for its gameplay and you know it's kind of what made everyone play these games you know uh, prototype is a really fun game i love how you can just you know explore new york city as a, a superhuman who can shapeshift into various different people uh regain health uh shapeshift your arms and appendages into different weapons you know all that stuff it's really good but um that's not, like, the entire reason why I want a third prototype game. Uh, the gameplay is really fun, um, and I think that if Prototype 3 were to expand it, I think it'd be absolutely amazing with what hardware we have for uh, today's gaming era. Uh, and <laughs> it's going to be pretty chaotic if Prototype 3 was in the making. Uh, I'm not the only one making this up. Uh, there are loads of people who uh, want a prototype free, and there's specifically one person who gave out his ideas for a potential, you know, gameplay uh, side of prototype free, like designing the gameplay for prototype free and whatnot, and that person is White Light. Uh, I'm not sure if YouTube will allow me to do this, but uh, I'd highly suggest you check out uh, White Light and his, uh, you know, videos about prototype, or even le leave his... Uh, uh, gameplay video of Prototype 3 in the description below just because I mentioned the gameplay. So reason number two is the story. Now some of you might complain that the story wasn't exactly good in Prototype 1 and 2, but I disagree. Uh, Prototype 1 had a relatively interesting story arc with Alex Mercer trying to discover, you know, who he is and what his purpose in life really is. And once you get to that end stage of, you know, the story, it's kind of where everything falls apart, you know? If you've read the uh, Prototype 2 Anchor comic by uh, Dark Horse Comic, I, I believe that's what, who made the comics, I'm not too sure, you'll finally understand uh, when and why Alex Mercer became evil. But I don't think it's justifiable, to say the least. I think that people were still relatively angry about Alex Mercer being the main antagonist of Prototype 2. And uh, I was simply the only person who didn't expect it, because back then I did not finish Prototype and I was like, uh, what the hell is going on? Why is that hooded guy uh, suddenly the main uh, antagonist? What's going on? But uh, the fact remains that, uh, you know, um, we can't always have what we want. And uh, it was like a really dumb move to have, um, you know, Activision and Radical Entertainment uh, make uh, Alex Mercer for who he was in Prototype 2. But that doesn't really matter. It doesn't stop us from believing that the story was great and the fact that Alex Mercer is a really great uh, video game character and quite possibly the most memorable. It, hell, if, if, if a kid shows you a drawing of, you know, some hooded bloke wearing claws, then you'd probably know it's Alex Mercer because his, uh, cause his appearance is just so iconic and so recognisable. If you've played Prototype 3, you get... If you've played Prototype, sorry, you get that feeling... But right now, it's the story is just fantastic. And if you uh, ever want to own these games, I'd highly suggest you buy them uh, and check out the story and gameplay for yourself. It's so good. Now the third and final. Now the third reason 
is a is a is a dedicated fan base. Um, the dedicated fan base for Prototype is just so big and so massive. Even though Prototype Two did not sell very well, and Prototype One wasn't exactly you know the best of the best when it comes to open world games, but Prototype was still very fun. And um, you know, Prototype Two and One. They were still very fun, and a lot of that, uh, you know, created a very strong and otherwise passionate and dedicated fan base that are still itching to um, see uh, what they can do and, um, you know, what they will experience. So, in my prediction, um, the prototype fan base will still continue to itch for a prototype three. And I think that uh, if that were to happen, despite the chances being so uh, slim to none, even though I might uh, think that the, you know, the chances of Prototype 3 are very, you know, slim and not, like, uh, reduced to the dark corners of time, is because Activision still hold the IP rights for Prototype. Because, you know, Radical Entertainment may be shut down, but uh, Prototype 3, uh, it's like least likely to happen but um like activision still hold the ip rights of prototype so i'm not complaining so with all that being said uh there are loads of people who i've saw on youtube who've done uh like very dedicated videos of prototype 3 and what their predictions about it is i've seen white light predict prototype 3 he, he even went he even went so far to even predict the gameplay and narrative into his own will that is dedication right there even Purposeless Rabbit Holes did the same thing in his Prototype 3 video, and it's just, it's just immaculate. I almost swore just then, sorry. But, um, yeah, um, if I were to create Prototype 3, I'd try to make it the best game as possible. Some people are saying they want a Prototype 3, and I admire their dedication. That's how good a fan base is if you know their dedication still holds strong, even though when Prototype 2 came out, there hasn't been a, uh, it, there hasn't been a new prototype game since, you know, almost 10 years, and that is, well, pretty mind-blowing. Now, the fourth and final reason of why prototype, why I want Prototype 3 is Pariah. Now, some of you may be asking, who, who or what is Pariah? Well, this character was someone that I have been itching to see in action, not just because he is a major prototype character, but the fact that I think he'll carry a... A uh, bigger, you know, investment to the story of the lore uh, than you might actually think. Uh, Pariah, for those you don't, for those of you who don't know, is the infected son of Elizabeth Green, and he is one of the two survivors of the Hope Idaho outbreak. That being himself and his mother, and I think that if he were to become a major factor into Prototype Three, that can be two of, they can be one of two options. He can be the protagonist, which I sincerely hope so. And the antagonist, which is least likely, but, um, you know, if he were to be, like, the antagonist, this could be a much bigger way of uh, opening sales to Prototype 3 than Prototype 2. Because most people's favourite character was Alex Mercer, and they despised and detested the idea of Radical Entertainment making him the main villain. Even though they have not read or even read the miniseries comic book, it's still not justifiable whether or not it's... Uh, actually made clear that Alex Mercer despises humanity just because humanity uh, hates him back, which uh, is still not sufficient proof to back up why he's evil, at least in our eyes at least. So um, Pariah, that leaves off with Pariah. If Pariah was the main protagonist, I think the players uh, that uh, have been long-time fans of the series or newcomers would have so much fun with his power set and move set. This could be greatly, this is greatly expanded in White Light's uh, designing prototype 3 video and that I really implore you to check it out. I'll leave the, vi the I'll leave the prototype 3 uh, links in the description below, but I'll be damned if Pariah was the main protagonist, this could be a sequel dialed up to 11. Like my god, it's going to it's going to sound and look uh, so fun and uh, if prototype 3 does come out in the foreseeable future, then I absolutely cannot wait. Uh, and with that, with that further ado, uh, this is my reasons why I want Prototype 3. Uh, so to recap the story, the gameplay, the fan base, and Pariah, that's pretty much my four reasons. I should come up with another few reasons to say this, but, uh, 
you know, with the uh, with my YouTube videos being limited, uh, I can't really make this video any more longer. So uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and I hope to God, uh, prototype will be uh, you know, there in the future, because that is what I'm looking forward to. You see, if you love prototype, then you'd honestly want a prototype free. And if you want to, if you want to play the games for yourself, then I'd highly suggest uh, you check out the Biohazard bundle on the uh, current consoles. You know, I should call this last gen hardware because you know the Xbox and PlayStation Five is out. But if you're interested, I'd highly suggest you play uh, Prototype One and Two, the Biohazard bundle on either your Xbox One or PlayStation Four, just to get the full experience. Uh, with that further, with that, with that out of the way. I've now wasted uh, 10 minutes of me wanting a prototype free, and I hopefully see you in the next one. Alright, have a good day and peace out.